Beloved chemistry teacher at North High School died at home this week. Many are now remembering the impact Brian Dugan had on students and staff. Our JC Caldwell is live tonight to show us how he's being remembered. Yeah, Randy, I'm here at North High School where Brian Dugan taught chemistry for 31 years. This would have been going into his 32nd year teaching. Earlier today, I talked to one of his former students, a family friend and his boss who all say he's already very, very missed. I was definitely very heartbroken. Brian Dugan was described by people who loved him as someone who is compassionate, someone who loved to joke around and someone who loved to teach. They all can agree he's someone that everyone will miss. He gave me confidence at a time in a kid's life that's really important. He just made me a better person. In April, you may remember our coverage of North High School's Strike Out Cancer event for him when he was battling retinol and liver cancer. Even then, his students, friends, and family made it clear that he was loved. That is something they say will never change. Some students just sign up, they may not like science, they may not like chemistry, may not like biochem. They sign up because they just wanted to have Mr. Dugan for, you know, as a teacher. Dugan was from Chandler, Indiana and graduated from Boonville High School, where he met his wife. He then graduated from Indiana University in 1992 and became a chemistry teacher at North High School shortly after. He was a great teacher and you could tell it just, he loved what he did. Dugan also previously coached baseball and football at North High School and was a former adjunct professor at USI. His students, though, are remembering him as their favorite teacher. Even though I haven't talked to him in so many years, someone who could touch your life like that, amazing. I'm very lucky to have known him. For those who want to pay their respects, there is a visitation service at the Kohler Funeral Home in Boonville on Sunday. His funeral will be on Monday at 11 a.m. at the Living Word Christian Church in Newburgh. Reporting live in Evansville, J.C. Caldwell, 14 News.